What's happening, brothers? Welcome to another episode of Nate's Chocolate Convo. I'm Nate. This is the only podcast. We're building the man. It's the business. God has woke you up this morning. Another beautiful day. The sun is shining. The air is pure. You have a whole lot to be thankful for. Especially as a man. You are alive and well. Now, first thing first, let's say a quick prayer. Our Father, which I in heaven, once again we come to you with a repentant heart of omission, commission, in words and deeds and thoughts, unknown and known past, present and future. Thank you, O Lord, for blessing us as men and blessing us to be strong and to walk in your ways and continually giving you praise and worship. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Now, <clears throat> second thing, if you want to order some chocolate from my candy company, it's called Angelic Sweets Candy Company. I have milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and white chocolate. And whatever you want in it, I can put in there for you. I do specialties, specialties, extra. I also ship, 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 shipping it to you is also extra. A six piece is six dollars and a twelve piece is twelve dollars. Now, let's conversate. Men, she wants your seed indeed. Most women, especially here in America, it doesn't matter her creed, her nationality, her ethnicity, it doesn't matter. If she's a woman, she knows this. Your seed will increase her life. Once a woman gets your seed, whether she gets help from the government, family, friends, associates, another man or another woman, a lot of women go, go that way too nowadays, the doors of life is open to her. She can go in the back alley and get your seed life is now open to her the red carpet is now rolled out to her you must protect your seed at all costs it doesn't matter if you don't have any children it doesn't matter if you have a child it doesn't matter if you have uh, two children three children it doesn't matter at some point in your life you have to see your seed as gold matter of fact Your seed is worth more than gold. A man's seed, which is his semen, is worth more than gold. Because your semen creates life. A woman's body is designed to incubate that life. Without your seed, there there is no incubation. That's why you are the prize. You create life. Life comes from you. Not from the woman. The woman incubates life. Her body is used as almost like a portal, a vessel, to bring forth the life that you put in. But without your life seed, she cannot produce life. She only incubates life. That means she gives life nutrients and vitamins, minerals, things of that nature. It's a housing. A woman's body is a housing for your seed. It's a vessel that God used to bring forth life. So you cannot give your life to any and everybody. This is why a lot of men are on semen retention or no factor, either or. Nowadays, it's a whole lot easier to be on these things because the way the world is, the way women operate. But you must protect your seed. If you're not married to her, she don't get your seed. It's just that simple. Because once she get your seed, she now, if she chooses to, go to court, file for divorce, get alimony, and also get child support. I call it the double whammy. 
get that two piece. One to him chin, one to him head. Get that two piece. Alimony and child support. Boom, boom. That second hit, that's the knockout punch. One to him chin, one to him head. The double whammy. Or you get that one piece. That one piece, straight to the head. Which is child support. She put you on child support, now she can get your money. If you have more than one, she can get more than just that amount. It's more. She wants your seed indeed. Because her life will change. Once a woman gets your seed, her life will change forever. She can get anything she wants, pretty much. The government has all types of programs set up for women who have children or who have a child. They can get cars, housing, food, clothes, supplies, any and everything out of life will be handed to her once she gets your seed. Once she gets that, there's nothing you can do about it. If you're out there, use protection. Learn from men like me. Learn from men that's already out there. That, that have children or a child in and out of court, 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 in and out of court. Like me. And they can also use your seed to help destroy your life. You gotta understand, your seed gets to a certain age, him or her or them, develop their own personality their own character. This means she can now put whatever she wants to put in their heads about you. Especially if you're not around to counteract that. If you're not around to explain what she's talking about or what she means. It's one-sided. That one night of, ugh, felt great. Can get you 18 years of Ugh! I can't think, I can't breathe. Now, is it the end of the world? No. You just have to make some changes and some adjustments. If you have a child or children. That's all. There's always a way around something. If there's a will, there's a way. Meaning, if you have the will to do it, you will find a way. It can take you a day, it can take you a year. It can take you more than a year. But eventually, you will find a way. But why go through that when you can protect your seed? Just learn from the men from your past or learn from the men that you see now with a child or with children. Even the married men. A lot of married men are miserable because if they leave, they got six kids. It's easier to take care of the six kids financially with the help of the mother. But if he gets a divorce, she gets alimony, she gets child support, the double whammy. One to the chin. One to the head. The headshot. You just went night night, nigga. Protect your seed. When you have a conversation with women, you gotta vet them. Ask questions. Pay attention to their body language, to their demeanor, their family, their friends. 
who they hang around. You want to know if there if there are people or person in their ear telling them things. Listen to how her friends speak. They're always talking about putting some man on child support or how they're playing their baby father or fathers out. You might want to reevaluate dealing with her. Birds of a feather flock together. Crackheads don't hang out with people who don't do crack. It's no fun. Crackheads hang out with other crackheads. Whores hang out with other whores. You only hang out with people that are a, a, a reflection of you. They reflect who you are. And women that hang out with women that scheme and scam men in this judicial system with child support and alimony or they're, just, they're trying to scam the government. Trust and believe they are the same way. Or they thought about it or they're thinking about it. Hooking you, hooking and rooking you. Your seed, your pleasure juice, your semen, whatever you want to call it. It's your life force. It's what's make you who you are. This is why, like I said before, men are on semen retention. No fapping. And it's the best thing that you can ever be on. Protect your seed or you will get screwed indeed. Just that simple. Thanks again for tuning in. Click like, subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell so whenever I upload a new video, you can get that notification. Hit the notification bell. It's on your phone. You will see it. It's shaped like, like a little bell. Hit that and you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. Share these videos with your brethren, your brothers, your uncles, your cousins, your fathers, whoever. But most importantly, receive this information, apply this information, and you will see a difference. As always, one, two, peace.